For nearly 50 years, satellites have provided essential communications to the global community, offering wide coverage and the unique capability to serve locations in just about every corner of the globe. Among the frequencies used are those for C-band transmissions, which are widely used around the world for TV broadcasts and other vital communications from more than 180 satellites. Navigation systems and air traffic control make use of this technology, and the United Nations and other aid organizations use C-band for communications during disaster relief and other humanitarian efforts. Now, however, we're faced with the prospect of sharing this frequency band with evolving wireless mobile systems used for LTE, 4G or 5G services. And that could be disastrous. Just as an example, take satellite TV, something that we're all familiar with. A terrestrial wireless base station only needs to be within 50 kilometers of a satellite receiver to disrupt their reception. That's because the faint signal from a satellite that's actually more than 30,000 kilometers away is overwhelmed by the more powerful ground transmitter. And although that base station may only be transmitting in a narrow frequency band, that could stop a viewer's reception of many TV channels. If the ground transmitter is 10 kilometers away, the effects are even worse. One base station signal could destroy 100 TV programs. And below 2 kilometers, that signal will completely overdrive the low noise amplifier in the satellite dish, blocking all C-band transmissions. So, in terms of TV reception, that means no TV at all. And in terms of disaster relief, or search and rescue, or humanitarian aid, or air traffic control, the potential impact is unthinkable. For all these reasons, our industry urges all regulators to preserve the use of C-band for continued satellite services.